four-legged crime fighters. They are among the frontline heroes in our community and around the nation, serving and protecting every day. And tonight, a look at how one local nonprofit is giving back with training for all. They're out there hunting bad guys and taking the bad guys off the streets. You're watching an advanced training course for canines with teams who are already patrolling the streets. The organization Canines United offering this free training for canine officers. A hands-on or pause-on workshop to fine-tune their skills or tackle some problem areas. You know, maybe they're tracking, but they're not tracking as good as they would like for them to be. Or there's, there's some problems that have come up, and these dogs can come here and work through those problems, and the trainers can help them advance through that. To get this time of training to better serve our community, is just beyond huge. Like Jacksonville police officer Matt Herrera, who's now working with a new canine after his partner Fang was killed in 2018 by a suspect. I heard a succession of two gunshots back to back, followed by a third in between two and three. I heard Fang yelp. And um, as soon as I came over the embankment, I, I kind of saw him coming to rest from falling and being shot. And I knew right there he was done. So tough to overcome. But now he has Ghost, his new partner. He's developing another strong bond and says Canines United is invaluable. That animal is not, is not only protecting the community by going and getting bad guys off the streets that, that plague these cities and the communities around the nation with crime and blight, but they protect you. They enable you to go home every night. And without a doubt, uh, Fang gave me that opportunity to go home to my family and my children that night. One young officer, the only female canine officer in her department, traveled some 450 miles for this free opportunity. It makes the world a difference, especially as a new handler who's eager to learn and make a difference and they want the team to be better, the unit to be better. It's everything. We have some amazing um, supporters and sponsors, uh, which gives us the ability to put these on for these teams. Just incredible. If you'd like to help support this nonprofit, go to caninesunited.org. Debbie Johnson tells us she founded Canines United after Canine Barron was killed in the line of duty in St. John's County back in 2014. To help fund whatever needs are not being met within departments' budgets, that's the goal. The group hosts training seminars like this and workshops involving top canine instructors from around the United States and Canada. This particular one filled up with participants within one day.